If you're lucky in love this Valentine's Day, you may have your adolescent friendships to thank for it. A study showed that the quality of friendships you establish as a teenager are the foundation for healthy romantic relationships when you're an adult. A Pew Research Center survey found 78% of teenagers say they have one to five close friends. 98% say they have at least one. That's good. At least one is good. Lisa Damore is the author of the best-selling book, Under Pressure, Confronting the Epidemic of Stress and Anxiety in Girls. And she's also a CBS News contributor and adolescent psychologist. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, so walk us through this connection between your relationships as a teenager and your love life as an adult. So this is a really cool study because what they did is they tracked 200 people from ages 13 to 30. Mm -hmm. And they looked at what was going on in their friendships as teenagers and how that predicted to the quality of their love lives as adults. And what they found was that the kids who expected their relationships to be of high quality could stand up for themselves and could make and keep friends were the ones who went on to have really satisfying love lives in adulthood. And we're talking about platonic relationships in high school yeah. and romantic ones in adulthood. Yeah. And what we think is there's a lot that you learn in these close platonic friendships. Mm -hmm. You learn how to be intimate. You learn how to manage conflict. And then over time, you learn sort of how to make a commitment to someone. You know, right. the maturity that comes with sticking with a friendship. Do you have to go into these friendships with a certain set of skills, or do you learn them in the friendship? Well, I don't think we know that. But what was so cool about this study is that they actually looked at the marks we want to see kids hit along the way. Yeah. Hmm. So at 13, what we want to see is that kids expect to be treated well and that they treat others well. Mm -hmm. So parents should really kind of coach kids into the idea of, you know, don't tolerate meanness in your friendships and then use assertiveness, not aggression or being passive when you're upset. At 15 and 16, we really wanted to see the kids had friends and sustained friendships. Um, you know, there's a lot of drama, seventh through ninth grade. Yes. That should die down. By 10th or 11th grade, we want to see the kids have really found their people. So if you've got a 10th or 11th grader who's not really able to make a good connection with someone, like, take that seriously, both for the immediate term and also the longer term. And then at 17 and 18, what we saw is that we wanted to see kids really have strong and sustained relationships, mm -hmm. really kind of a committed friendship over time. Why is that non-sexual intimacy for teens so important to learn? Well, so the cool thing here is that you want to see intimacy without the glue of a physical relationship. You know, so often that's what holds things together when right. other stuff isn't working well. Yeah. But when teenagers can say to someone, you know, I feel close to you, and then the researchers found that the friend said, oh, I feel close back to you, you yeah. know, that that was actually a sign of really having the skills they needed to carry on into a more meaningful relationship and, down the line. And what you're suggesting here is, is also that the parents play a really big role in giving them initial skills, but also in supporting them along the way. Absolutely. And I think especially for teenagers, you know, you want to have romances. You feel like, oh, I wish I had a boyfriend or I wish I had a girlfriend. Yeah. So one thing parents can do today is if your teenager is in the Lonely Hearts Club today, yes. I think you can say to them, don't worry about it. It does not have anything to do with how things are going to be down the line. Focus on your friendships. Focus on being a good friend, choosing good friends. This is what will set you up for the future. Very good advice. Yep. All right, Lisa Damore, thank you very much, and happy Valentine's happy Day. Happy Valentine's Day. All right, Under Pressure, Confronting the Epidemic of Stress and Anxiety in Girls is available in paperback right now.